So we wanted to let you know how this whole thing works, but essentially our bus is 40 feet long and internally about 35 feet. And so as we had that layout set out to uh, start working on it, I decided to pull up some digital app and start working on modeling it. So first things first, I use SketchUp. I already had started by bringing in a sketch of a uh, graph paper model of our layout. I laid it over and I started extruding different uh, 3D objects from the walls and things with this new app. Now I'm brand new to this so it's hard. But this is actually probably the easiest model I've ever seen. So you can see I can turn walls on and off. There's a feature that where we uh, uh, are able to basically set things on, on different layers and then turn them on and off as we need to and it's really helpful. Sometimes it's hard to get to certain things. And as you can see, I, I'm putting uh, uh, like um, appliances and stuff like that where we had the, uh, the sketch laid out. And for things like um, um, countertops, I went ahead and pulled from the wall. So basically I had to draw the shape and then I start pulling it and then punch in the exact measurements. Now all these measurements uh, I did, uh, these are the scale. So these walls are, are around seven feet high, whereas in, inside it's really six and a half. Uh, so essentially, we don't go all the way to the ceiling, but it's just to show the general uh, uh, layout of everything. Uh, and here, this is the uh, e-lounge I'm building out right now. And in order to keep things uh, the same height across, I went ahead and just drew it one from one wall to the other and erased the middle. It worked out pretty well. Then we have our kitchen that I'm still working on, and it's hard to get underneath that counter, so I, uh, I made the walls disappear. And as you see, I'm playing on the side there with the um, uh, different layers that I set up to kind of get the right angle for things. And move the, uh, um, now a lot of these appliances, they come in sketch sketching, uh, sketch it for free. You have to go find them and essentially make sure you scale them to the right size. And but a lot of these came out of the box pretty close. Yeah, Aaron's really good at tech stuff, but this was your first time using SketchUp, and yep. it's awesome. I mean, this looks amazing. This really is an accurate scale model of the bus, and you were able to find appliances that measured, at least they measured correct, even if they're not the exact same style as what right. we're going to use. Right, so we did yeah. look up every one of the appliances we wanted to use to make sure we had the right dimensions. Yeah. And then all these appliances were, some of them were dead on, so... Yeah, we have the bay windows that are going to be up in the front in that yep. new lounge area. That's where we're going to be bringing things into the bus. So yes. that access point is important. The door that we used is not exactly the door we're going to have in the final version here. Oh, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> so colors and styles will, will change. This is just to give a general idea of the layout. Yeah. That little platform there in front, that's actually where I'll be sitting, and it's a lot lower than that. Yeah. So my head will be way lower than the uh, TV and the uh, air conditioner that you see floating above there. Yeah, what are those called? Splitters? Two-way splitters? Uh, yeah, so it's um, it's uh, ductless mini splits, essentially. Yeah. Yeah. And so, yeah, this is a two-way. And we'll have one in the very right front and one in kind of mid-back. Yeah, it'll show you'll up see, here You'll second. see when we get to it. And that's a TV screen that we're going to have hanging above my head. And then on the other side, the thing that looks like the two flowers uh, on the wall, that's actually uh, TVs as well. Yeah. We're gonna have all three of them showing the same content. That way, no matter which direction our people are sitting, they'll be able to watch the same TV show. Yeah. Uh, in the, the kitchen here, we're gonna have uh, the four, as you can see across the way, you got the, the compost toilet. Yeah. This is toilet one of two, by the way. We'll have two mm -hmm. uh, compost toilets. Uh, we found them to be a lot better than uh, the black having a black tank and everything. There's a washer dryer combo unit underneath there, and then above that uh, a uh, pantry, and then uh, our fridge, which is designed again for RVs, our convection oven, and and most likely a gas stove. Yeah. Um, our bunk beds for the kids. We're gonna have curtains. I didn't bother modeling those out. Yeah. And that that darker side in the middle. There is going to be a cubbies for everybody, and then on the opposite side, they have their own little TVs. Yeah. So everyone's going to have their own little TVs. That way they can go to personal time and watch whatever they want. Anyway, we stuck the uh, jacuzzi tub. That's right. I said jacuzzi tub. We'll see if it works. Uh, here in the middle. Uh, again, not with a toilet in it. We wanted to keep these things separately. And then like a rain shower 
more modern uh, um, shower head on top of that. That's our hope. We will have to put a little bit of work yep. into the water setup, but uh, it's a plan. And uh, on the outside of that, we're going to have a sheet metal. That right there is the uh, um, touchscreen TV, and that's going to be my, that's going to be our. It's going to control our lights and everything for the, the bus. Yeah. It's all going to be um, a smart home, and of course, the mini split above that and the desk. Then we come into our room, and there's the second toilet we talked yeah. about. Yeah. Uh, we'll have a private ties, but the, you know, obviously, we can use it if we need to. If the kids need to use it, they can use it. Kind of our master suite. Yep. Uh, queen bed that's going to be raised up quite a few inches, like I think two and a half feet. Yeah. We'll have storage underneath that, and then a curved flat screen, uh, curved screen, or something night like that in the front something nice that we'll put in the back there for us there's a window there on the side well yep. and that's probably going to be the only window in the back right uh well there's one above the desk uh yeah. and uh one above the sink yeah and in the back on the outside we picked black for the the color and then well the 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 uh the metal on the, on the bottom the um I forgot what it's called, but essentially the the, it's yeah. going to be chromed and, yeah. and glimmery and nice. So we'll have like a chrome black color, a color combination. The colors on the inside are up to, up subject to change, whatever yeah. Esther wants to end up doing. And we'll be doing a lot of styling things that we can't do easily in modeling. But that's basically it. Yeah, yep. this is a picture of our model. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and you found the information to be helpful. Yep. If you did, you can give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and then you'll be alerted the next time we have a video ready. Thanks for watching. Bye guys. Also, that sheet metal or the brush sheet metal around the uh, the shower, that's going to be for um, magnets and stuff. We're going to have lots yeah. of magnets. Kids are going to be able to play with magnets all over it. I think it's going to be really fun. It's like a little play place. Yeah. Way of doing that without having stuff rolling around the bus while we're driving. Yes. Yeah. Anchored toys. Yep. Yeah. Good stuff.